Guys, we just had some massive breaking news surface here today regarding stable coins. Now, spoiler alert, this is extremely good for not just the industry, but also XRP and XLM. So I want to talk to you all about that here in this short video, as well as give you a timeline on when we can expect this all to go down as it just surfaced here today, introducing the most comprehensive stable coin bill to date. Now, this is a Cynthia Loomis and Gildebrand bill, stable coin act right and here is a few quotes in which she said crypto assets are revolutionizing the world i think we can all attest to that and as undisputed leader the undisputed leader in financial innovation the u.s must embrace crypto assets it cannot be done with without clear rules for stable coins now this bill this loomis gillibrand payment stable act solves key policy challenges that have lingered around previous proposals and provides regula uh, regulation and added consumer protections to stable coin issuers now but above all what it does is it allows innovation to prosper now the bill authorizes state trust companies to issue Payment stable coins up to 10 billion with limited purpose state OCC institutions authorized to issue any amount. Now, before I go on, guys, remember and think number one in your mind about the launch of the stable coin that is coming to Ripple. What perfect timing could this be? And who has more licenses and more compliant than anyone? Ripple. Now, also, guys. Remember, who works directly with the CFTC actually advises there? Stellar. And who do they also work with? In fact, their biggest partner, one of their biggest partners, Circle, USDC, Stellar. Now, let's move on. The legislation maintains dual banking system that is critical to preserving the parity enjoyed by state and federal financial institutions and establishes guardrails for existing issuers. Now, Tell me you have been working behind the scenes with Ripple without telling me you've been working behind the scenes with Ripple uh, when we hear statements like that. Now, in light of FTX collapse, the Loomis Gillibrand Payment Stablecoin Act establishes proper custody and third party risk management payments or practices rather to maximize consumer protect, uh, protection while allowing emerging this emerging industry to grow. Now, direct quote, crypto assets are going to continue to change the world and the US is right now at a crossroads. Embrace innovation and lead the world forward or simply get left behind. Let's pass comprehensive stablecoin legislation to take the first step to ensuring our nation is a leader. Now, lastly, look at what the law requires, guys. It shall be unlawful for any person to engage in business of issuing payment stablecoin directly or indirectly in the U.S. Sorry, Tether. Only Ripple stablecoin and BlackRock's USDC will in fact be legal here in the U.S. And you can only imagine the amount of liquidity and volume coming to these uh, networks. Now, charting guy put out, and also guys, I do want to let you know they were t uh, on hosted on, I believe, CNBC today, asked about a timeline here. Is it going to take months, years? They're saying that they are looking to get this done, knocked out in weeks. They have a lot of momentum. They are very optimistic. They have a lot of partners on the on the hill so obviously anything's possible but this is looking extremely bullish and this is the closest we've been yet uh, in history so charting guy put out xrp monthly boiler bands are now the tightest they have ever been in history 70 for the width the tightest it's got before this was 73 in 2017 and guys that was one month 
before the rocket's red glare. Probably nothing, he says jokingly. Guys, thank you all so much for all your support. Man, this is what a time to be alive as this is all playing out beautifully. I couldn't be more uh, optimistic, enthusiastic about being in both XRP and XLM as we have a brighter day ahead of us. Don't forget to turn on those notification bells so you never miss a beat, guys. We'll see you all in the next one.